Hey, what up, guys? It is Double Tree again, and welcome to episode one, or not episode one. This is mm, give you a little bit of a teaser there. This is like episode seventeen of the current series that we've got going. But I'm not gonna be showing you guys a battle, and I'm not gonna be continuing the campaign uh, as we know it. Um, I'm gonna be looking at creating a different one, and uh, I'm looking for some tips here. Um, I'm I'm heading down south. Or southeast down to Turkey, Lebanon, um, Syria, etc. And I'm looking for like a climate that would be realistic in such means, uh, or however, or however you would call it. And this could technically be like, uh, I don't know. I think we're in like in the far east now, but it but it gives me a slight northern Middle Eastern uh, look. Uh, I think uh, it isn't too impossible or impossible, should I say? I'm going to load up the zero here to give it a look in daylight, should I say, with, and with a skybox. And we're going to be taking a look at the mech, the IDF, and some other cool things that I have planned to make. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is the actual mission itself. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I got to unload that. <laughs> that wasn't the point. So I thought I'd just summarize the previous campaign that we have been playing as well. I think the Russians won f seven battles and the Americans won, like... Five, although I think more like four, seeing as the fifth one, uh, or one of them was like a night ops. So there was like 11 battles, whereas the, the NATO and the Ukrainian side won four and the Russians won seven. And yet I get so many complaints on, on how it wasn't being fair on the Russians or whatever you want to call it. So that was really, really weird. Um, let's see, we can just reload this now and see what happens. And yeah, so... Um, this isn't entirely impossible. It's got this kind of, kind of you know, nice, humid, you know, Israeli texture to it. Uh, let's see here. These trees are crop trees. Could be like in the in the in the northeast of Israel or something like that. It's kind of a little hot, but there's still some trees here. These buildings, I don't really know. This 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 looks a lot more Russian than than expected. Could be like you know, eastern Turkey. Caucasus Mountain, somewhere around there. You know, some nice area where the mech could operate in. I don't see that as an impossibility. Uh, so, technically, the mech for me, if I'm going to just bring them out, would be like a Russian soldier. So, I'm just going to get like um, a regular guy out with, with no real equipment. So, I'm just going to take like a pilot. Um, he's got that gun. I don't think I like the portrait. That would just disturb me a lot. Engineer. That's better. Not really mech, but you catch my drift. The helmet, uh, I think that's a keeper. Uh, and he's got plenty of, of these things in him here. Um, he's not going to be using any of it anyway. But so yeah. Skin-wise, if I want to create like a soldier that looks like he's operating in the south. I want to give him a bit of a Selden camouflage. That's better. But we want to turn him uh, Middle Eastern here. Give him even more of a Middle Eastern camo. Almost a deserty one. That works, but it's a little too off-duty for me. It seems like it's some jumper, like a one-piece. Not going to be working with that. This one, I've been thinking of this a lot. It's Ukrainian, but come on. It's like, you know, give him a... Um, give him a... Let me see here. Uh, inventory, equipment, body. Give him a... A vest, a tactical vest that he can operate in. All these are Sierras. I don't know if this is American. Could be, could not be. But that looks pretty cool. He could totally be a mech trooper. Because of the deserty camouflage and all that. I can work on a mech trooper even uh, more later on. There's plenty of skins to choose from and equipment and helmets and all that. But let's take a look at the IDF. They're cool. Got them all lined up here. We've got the ones with the Tavor, of course, and then we also have a few with the M4 that they also use. I'm not entirely sure. There's one with the M16. Uh, RPG, that's an M4. And that's an M4 as well. That's a VDV. Uh, I'm not supposed, supposed to, just sure if that's the airborne or whatever. <laughs> It's like the only voice they have. They should add more from Project Reality. There's plenty in there. 
Could get repetitive, but that's badass to have the idea. Nonetheless. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait to put them up against Russians or the uh, the IDF. But so yeah, to summarize the previous campaign, I wasn't aiming for any realism or or, 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 or that. I mean, I took that into account. I, I wanted to make an ambient, cool, badass series where you take the Russians and you duke them out against the NATO forces and, and the Ukrainians. And you, you don't think, I, I just, you just don't overthink it. Um, uh, you just, you know, the... You just fight it out, you duke it out, you have cool... Sometimes the Russians win, sometimes the Ukrainians win, sometimes they have reinforcements, sometimes they don't. There are just plenty of factors coming into play. It's not a fact sheet. It's not on paper. It's I know that on paper the Russians would easily win in that theater down there uh, if, if the Ukrainians wouldn't have uh, too much support. But that, what would be the fun of that, guys, is drop the political, drop all that stuff. We're about to enter an even more con controversial uh, scene here. We're going to have Syrians, we're going to have the Israelis, we're going to have Americans, we're going to have Russians, we're going to have Taliban's. There's going to be like crazy amounts of shit going on here. And there might be a battle where, say, the, the IDF loses or, or where the Taliban get utterly destroyed or whatever. And that cannot go to you guys' head. I mean, that is going to kill me mentally, seeing what you guys are going to come up with if I, if I make a battle that you just do not feel uh, appealing. Um, there's just, just plenty of ways to, to put that. See, see if I make um, a Syrian soldier, right? I'm just gonna grab like a saber. I don't know why he's called saber. He's got an AK I want to use, right? So we'll we'll drop the helmet there. And the body armor. And he can keep his camo. It's not entirely bad. I would prefer if it had the. Wait, I'm gonna go up and view the Chechenian ones. So see here, there's plenty of Taliban's we can make use of here. At least they look like they're Taliban's. That guy could be a, an IDF or the S an SAA soldier, without doubt. Uh, we can we can remove that stuff as well. Might speak Russian. And then we'll just give him. Look at this equipment head. Um, if they'd have s helmets, they'd have the old ones, like um, the old Soviet ones. Look, there's like the caps, the the, the Taliban caps and stuff. Um. Maybe they would just have like a. Trying to find the old. There's plenty of, of new stuff here. Israeli equipment. American gear. Like a cap, you know, or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. There's plenty of helmets, though. I'm trying to find the old one. Oh, that's the tank helmet. What would you do without that? Plenty of uh, American helmets as well. I don't know where I'd find it though. If what's the what's a DH one three two? It's like a pilot's helmet. Yeah, a little too spec opsy for us, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, anyway, so say they didn't have any helmets. Uh, yeah, right. Like some and boom, I've made like the SAA. Maybe he wouldn't have a cap like that, but but still, that's badass. Imagine imagine this though, the SAA and their um, and their tanks. Ah man, an old T seventy two. That's exactly what they would have. God, it's such a cool tank. Oh man, just an old classic T seventy two here of the Syrian army. SAA man. Just on the roll. Fighting the rebels here in the towns. The FSA. The ISIS. Everything. And then out of out of the blue. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this before finishing it up. You have the Israelis here. <laughs> and their tank, which would be a I think I'm gonna go with the the Magash. Should I go with the Magash? Merkava, of course, the Merkava. So cool that they got the Merkava in here. And these guys can just like, wait, these guys can just like, I don't, I, I think the Merkava is gonna win ten out of ten times <laughs> against the T seventy two. Realism plays itself, really. You don't necessarily need to do 
make too many changes to the to the thing itself. I mean, just like, come on. Oh, wow. I don't know who would win. I can make a guess. Whoa! T seventy two turn into scraps. All right, good to know. Good to know. But anyway, that aside, um, yeah, look forward to a new campaign. I'm gonna try and get some cool maps going. There are plenty of other deserty maps that I can use too. Uh, otherwise, I'll just have to make some myself. What is he doing? Trying to drive under the van. Domination. Put it in the. Put it in the sink hole. Alright, I just don't. I just don't. Wait. I just want to add a bazooka here. Let's see what this thing is up to. What can this thing do? I'm gonna be excited using the the IDF. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.